Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Nolan, and today we're going to be playing Seven Heroes. I found this game on Google Play after looking for some like good roguelike games because I've been going through roguelike withdrawals, man. I've been wanting to play a lot more ever since I've been playing freaking uh, Pirates Outlaw. I've been addicted to that game. I need to find another roguelike game to add on. And I found this game. I liked it because it is like our style. It looked pretty interesting. It's not a commander, huh? Okay, click a card. Uh, okay, click a monster card to exterminate a monster, get damage, the value of card. Okay, so pot cards heal me. What's this? Okay. So attack cards. To equip weapons. Next hit costs one stamina. It breaks when it hits zero. Okay, that's the top left. There's the stamina of the weapon. Alright, weapon damage incoming. Oh, weapon reduces incoming damage during the attack okay no no my defense has been improved but I'm gonna die oh no never mind we somewhat outlived the damage oh okay I, I get it a little bit okay let's see what my skills do Okay, reduce damage incoming ball. Yeah, reduce damage caused by the battle. Okay. Each turn has a chance to improve the damage decreased. So that's why I got that shield. You can see the number, the remaining number of. Cards. Okay. So if I injured. Okay. I see. You get XP and rank. After you win a battle. Increase my title to have higher HP. It's okay. So the more you get of HP. Higher scores and stuff like that. The more HP you get in the. Further, you can go in the game. I bad. I am. My tongue is not working with me today, man. <laughs> oh no, I gotta sneeze. No, go away. <coughs> oh god, Jesus Christ. Oh god, help me. <laughs> All right, so that's basically of the game. Okay, so there's heroes. There's only two heroes though. Seven jobs stand for seven sins. You know, when I thought about it, I. I don't think sins count as heroes, but you know, hey, you know better than me. Okay, so they have their own special like passives. Ah. Uh -huh. So now we have pride. Like it frees all enemies. Immediately recover HP, but the loss of mana. Attacking will immediately gain 15 mana. Okay, I want to try that. Punishment means to use of supernatural power. After using skills or magic run. Okay, so basically just mana.
Oh, so there's just no medium? <laughs> no, we are just gonna say, fuck medium, dude. This is gonna go from easy to straight hard. <laughs> That's what I like to see in a roguelike, you know? Flip the back at the top right. If you're not familiar with the rules. Dude, you're sloth, not gluttony. Alright. Oh, there's even a madness. Yeah, I want to go here. Yeah, easy for now. Holy crap. That is a lot of crap going on. I can survive that pretty easy. Ah, oh, so I could just replace it. Okay, I see. But it can still break. No. So you just get it equipment as you go, basically. That's interesting, nonetheless. Uh, I'm gonna skip that one. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, sweet. Get on with that. Take this. Let's we'll skip this one. Yeah, we're just going to get the XP out of it. So we got 97% of cards. Yeah, try again. This game is weird. Definitely never played a random roguelike like this. Weapons broken. Armor's broken. So as long as I don't hit anything that does way more damage than my armor, my armor survives a little bit more. Huh. Okay. Oh no, my armor still takes pretty good damage. Now there's armor. Take you out. Take you out. That armor. Got the potion. Heal. A lot of heals, damn. We'll take the hill there. And 100% on that one. Oh, so these are... Oh, God. Yeah. Um, <laughs> these enemies look a lot more terrifying. Take the one damage.
Oh, damn. Dude, this is some good equipment right here. I'm gonna take these. Take this heal. And move on. Put that on. No, no, not a trap. Come on. Put on armor. Okay, sword broke. Freeze these guys. Ah, we got the hundred percent again. So, where are we now? So there's lust. Oh wow. One, two, three. So all these three right here have to be purchased. The other two are free. So you got four characters free to you. The other three sins cost money. I'm sad now. Well, that's kind of a sad thing to see. All right. Okay, hold on. No, stop it, traps. Well, I pretty much died. <laughs> that poison was going to kill me anyway. I had to start over. I wonder how much do I lose if I do that? Quite a bit. But I still get the kill off. Probably be better to skip, because we don't have a weapon or anything. A weapon, skip. The shield, though. Okay, so we got Vampiric. I should have used that other armor. Let it wear itself out, basically. I'll take one damage. Kill this. And we can take that eight damage from that. The game isn't half bad. You never get the basics of it. I don't need to go through that. Oh my god, we're getting worse and worse enemies. Can I get a sword? No weapons. Okay. Well, fuck me, right? Oh, it put me back on uh, pride now I think about it. I didn't even realize it put me on pride again. You know what? Let's try hard for once. See how that goes. There's unknown enemies now. Oh. That's interesting. So 
So yeah, there's a lot of stuff hidden that I gotta be careful of. Damn. There is a chance of dodging the tank, so I'm just going for it. I should show that one last, but I think it's all right. Okay, so both armor and that healed me. Yee, dope, skip. Oh, I'm dead. No. Ah, so close. <laughs> I didn't get any more weapons at that point. It was pretty much over with. So I wonder something. So I'm guessing weapons just stay behind. So you don't have to like grab every single thing. You can always just come back to it. I think the leftover enemies, you're trying to like manage all the equipment and random generation of like armors and stuff, you know, keep skipping and skipping and say everything's pretty much dead so utilizing every last weapon just basically skipping so yeah these they're showing six weapons and six armors ten potions you're supposed to use all that to kill all 36 enemies so that's the basics of it so don't pick up like every single weapon just pretty much skip and try and kill like all the small fry and go back through, get the weapons and you no know, kill along the way. At least try to kill like one every few stages. That's basically the premise of this game for what I see. And that's pretty cool. And as you go on, the more cards you unlock. More defense cards, more potions. More monsters are unlocked. New traps. The ones the bastards that poisoned me. So, yeah, the game isn't half bad, but I'm just kind of not a huge fan of, like, locking characters behind paywall. I mean, at least give us an option to do paywall and, you know, earning these badges or stars for them. I like both options because if somebody want to buy in early and don't feel like grinding all that much, they can just easily just go straight to purchase. But most people are just going to ignore that and just could be like, oh, I have the better choices, the better decisions, you know, that just most of the time your decisions are really terrible when it comes to like, you know, paywalling your characters. There's always needs to be a choice. But personally, I give this game a pass. It's actually pretty unique. I've never played a game that is remotely close like this. And it was actually pretty fun. Will I be playing it any further? Nah, not really. Just just play for like to unlock three characters and that's it. That's pretty much not even my goal for me. Yeah. Not, not like real long-term goals for like a roguelike. Because most of the time you want to, you know, get somebody to work towards something. But if you're, I'm just working towards like two characters, yeah, I'm not interested. But overall, I say try it out. You know, see how you feel about it. And if you guys enjoy it, feel free to play it. You know, purchase the characters if you guys find it really fun and enjoyable. And to then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.